welcome back. It's time for Creative Futures, and our next guest has a great story on how he was able to bring out his creative side. We're happy to have Joelle Cintron on the show with us this morning, and you're part of the Artists of Color Accelerate Fellowship. Yes. Welcome to the program. Thanks Thank so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Erica. Uh, so, in a nutshell, tell us a little bit more about your art and what you do. So, I am a photographer. I do videography. I actually started actually with writing. So, I um, did some freelance for Hartford Current, and then I taught myself photography, actually. Mm -hmm. So, self-taught, and then kind of combined that. Mm -hmm. And then from there, just uh, I've been with the camera ever since. So. Mm -hmm. And when did your love for that start, and how was it fueled as you grew? Um, so I actually I would say the Hartford like arts community actually kind of brought that out because I wanted to spread awareness about you know musicians or artists or things that were happening here mm -hmm. you know Hartford gets a bad rap or you know it's just that kind of stereotype so I wanted to show wh how I could um, of just the beautiful things that are happening here. Mm -hmm. Did you grow up loving photography? Um, sort of. So like we had those disposable cameras and whatnot, but I think. Right. Um, Never really saw it as something until mm -hmm. um, I got, you know, older. Mm -hmm. So now talk a little bit about the fellowship and the aim and the goal there. So the fellowship, uh, it has so it's basically uh, ten institutions that partner with ten fellows, and um, I'm partner with TheaterWorks, um, and so you know it's basically to uh, you know get artists of color um, kind of that partnership with these institutions and kind of, you know, work on a project together and kind of just have that synergy, if you will, of, mm -hmm. of uh, you know, artists of color in, in mainly mostly dominated white spaces. Mm -hmm. well. Did your upbringing have a strong influence in your journey to where you are today? Yeah, so I think creativity was kind of like a, a like an escape almost, or like a solace of just, um, you know, having an imagination and just, uh, you know, being drawn to art and, uh, again, photography or just images that, uh, you know, just brought out something different, you know, than mm -hmm. just, you know, going to school and doing, you know, math, English and all of that. So it was mm -hmm. kind of a cool way to just express myself. Mm -hmm. I took photography class in high school, which is a really cool experience here in the darkroom and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Was that moment or was there a certain photograph that you took that sort of struck you as like, I really, really love this, and this is what I want to do. So there's one that I actually took. Um, it was like uh, during the Black Lives Matter um, protest in Newington, where I just caught you know this black and white image, and it was um, just really powerful. Just you know being at that time and, mm -hmm. and catching that at the right you know the composition, and actually spoke you know about that image at the village. They had me there for their stand for race, uh, stand against racism uh, event, and it was just something you know again telling. Uh, stories just with an image, mm -hmm. you know, you, I don't have to say it anything. It tells so much. Yeah. Right? And again, picture, emotion, again. Emotion, yeah. what's happening in the world at that time. Exactly. It really and is incredibly moving. Exactly. And what would you say to young photographers or young artists out there who aren't sure if they should follow maybe what they think is their passion, they're not sure if they can make a career out of it, or oh. where they should go for guidance and encouragement? Uh, so, I mean, I think the main thing is just to have the courage. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's something that you're really passionate about, you should follow that um, because it'll, you know, open doors. And, 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 you know, when you're doing something out of passion, it's just, you know, your energy is in there. You know, you really want to do it. It's something that calls to you, and you shouldn't let that feeling go. Mm -hmm. Well, we're certainly glad that you're here with us and sharing that passion with us okay. and our thank viewers you. at home. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Joel. Yeah.